All right, so I'm going to take you through abdominal muscles. So the purpose of these muscles, if muscles have a purpose, which they do, is to protect the viscera in the abdominal cavity. So all your internal organs are protected by these four muscles that are interlaced. Um, they also provide the musculature for trunk flexion and they control the pelvic motion. So our anterior and posterior tilt um, are also influenced by abdominal muscle length and strength. So this is what your abdominal muscles look like. They are a web. And, and so they have each muscle goes in a different alignment. So they cr create, quote, a web of muscle. And so if you sever one layer, the whole abdominal muscle wall doesn't open up and have your intestines fall out. So it's, it's a protective um, approach. So from deep to superficial, we have our transverse abdominus, and it's named for its transverse aligned fibers. Deepest muscle layer, they're directed horizontally, and their function is to compress the abdomen. Our next layer are the internal obliques, and they run, um, they're intermediate, they run superiorly and medially. So from lateral to medial, from inferior to superior. They have multiple functions. They can also compress the abdomen. They help flex the trunk. Unilaterally, you can have lateral flexion and they can rotate to the same side. So the right internal oblique will rotate you to the right, left to the left. All right, the next one is the external oblique, or we call it our pocket muscles, because they go inferior and medially. So just like you're, you would put your hands in your pockets, that's the alignment of your external obliques. They also compress the abdomen, flex the trunk, lateral flexion or lateral bend, and they rotate the trunk to the opposite side. So to rotate to the right, it would be your right internal and your left external. To rotate to the left, it would be your left internal and your right external obliques working. And then finally, we have our rectus abdominis, our six pack. It is a strap-like muscle. Um, it's the most superficial. The fibers are vertically oriented with these tendinous sheaths that um, bisect it, which is where your quote end quote six pack comes from. There are three tendinosis, as I just said, intersections along the muscle. And that's where your six pack comes from when these, um, the muscle bellies are hypertrophied between these tendons. Then you have something called your linea alba, and that's the longitudinal co collagen partition down the center of your abdomen. All abdominal muscles attach to this linea alba. So for trunk rotation, as I said, to rotate right, you have your right internal oblique and your left external oblique. To rotate left, it is your left internal oblique and your right external oblique.